Hi, my name is Courtney. I'm a board certified cardiovascular nurse and I've worked for Baptist Health System for 15 years. In honor of Check Your Blood Pressure Day, I'm going to show you how to take an accurate blood pressure measurement and why it's very important to monitor your blood pressure regularly. So why should we check our blood pressure regularly? Certain people have been told by their doctors that they have high blood pressure and maybe you've been prescribed medication to help affect that blood pressure. So taking it regularly and recording it can help your doctor see if it's working. And what are some of the risks of having uncontrolled high blood pressure? You can certainly have damage to your heart, you can have damage to your kidneys, and you can also have a stroke. According to the American College of Cardiology, a normal blood pressure is less than 120 over 80. Higher than 120, so between 120 and 129, is technically elevated blood pressure. And anything much higher than that is true hypertension. It's always best to keep something close by that you can write down the numbers so that you can take them to your doctor and show them what blood pressure readings you got. Please remember to uncross your legs and uncross your ankles so that you get the best reading. Try to avoid smoking, exercise, and caffeine 30 minutes prior to taking your blood pressure. It's always best to take it at the same time each day because it will be a consistent reading. So let's have an example of how to take your blood pressure at home. Some cuffs will have an arm cuff, like this one, and others will have one for your wrist. Pick up whichever one you prefer at your local pharmacy. So it's best to try doing your blood pressure on your non-dominant arm. For me, that's my left. Go ahead and get it as tight as you possibly can so that it will be accurate. Place your arm on a table like this, even kind of close to where your heart is. Remember to uncross your legs and uncross your ankles. Go ahead and press the button to start the blood pressure cuff. Take one reading and then take another one about a minute apart and record both of them so that we can see which one's higher. Your doctor will talk with you and define what number warrants a phone call to him or her. However, if your blood pressure reading is 200 over 120 or higher, then that definitely means that you need to seek emergency care at your nearest emergency room. For questions about your blood pressure, please reach out to your primary care physician, or if you have one, your cardiologist. If you'd like to learn more about high blood pressure or other heart-related issues, please visit our website, www.baptisthealthsystem.com.